Hi, I'm Tamara Blackler, um, Master Chef um, Island winner 2012. Um, I'm going to be making some delicious dishes for you today using products um, by Cook.ie. Um, and today we're going to be making a flatbread. Um, it's kind of a pizza, um, but one of the products um, that we have is a chili and coriander relish. Now this is um, a product uh, from the scullery. Um, it was a restaurant and. Um, the lady who um, created this pl uh, product is Flory Purcell. What we're going to be using is I have the dough um, already made. Um, it's been proofing. So the recipe, all the details are on the recipe card for you. Um, so this needs obviously time to rest. And you can see obviously it's doubled in size. So what we're going to do, and now you'll see it will come back to its normal size to just put some flour on the surface here. This, um, this recipe is, is more of a, ve a vegetarian version, but with any you know pizzas or flatbreads, you can add your own things to it. Um, you know, that, that's the beauty of these things. And you can make them any shape or size that you want. Keep twisting it, turning it. Make sure your base is floured as well, that's it's going to stick. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this onto the base because once you start putting toppings onto it, you can't transfer it. So you need to put it onto your baking tray or your base straight away. And what we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do is use the relish as the base of the pizza. Gorgeous, and this is going to work really well with the, the goat's cheese. Um, we've made some garlic oil. So, as I said before, I have made these things in advance the pesto and the garlic oil, but the recipe is on the card. So, for the, the garlic oil, it's fairly simple you take bulbs of garlic, um, you put them into a baking tray um, with olive oil, and you just bake it in the oven. Um, you know and let it infuse so bake about 40 minutes and just let it infuse um, and then just remove it and strain the garlic don't leave the garlic in the oil because it'll actually go off um, so take it it'll last a few weeks as well so we just do that so you can actually swap the bases around as well if you wanted to do it you could do the pesto base you know and then you could um, put um, bits of the, the tomato and chili relish around it um, so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna put little dollops of the pesto around the pizza so that every slice gets a nice bit of it. And then what we're gonna do is get some ghost cheese and I'm gonna put some ghost cheese around the pizza. So the difference with this pizza is we're gonna actually, once it comes out the oven, I'm actually gonna top the pizza with a, with a rocket salad. Um, which is kind of, you don't feel so bad then eating a pizza, you know, eating salad. Um, another flavoring that would work so well with this is chorizo. If you had chorizo, you could just fry some off and stick it on if you don't want to be completely vegetarian. So do that. And then we're going to take some Parmesan cheese. Use cheddar. I think parmesan is a far better cheese for a, for a flatbread or a pizza. I think it works well. Or a mozzarella, you know. Um. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add the garlic oil. So, so all I'm going to do is just drizzle the oil. And what I'm going to do is my oven set to like 180. I'm going to pop that in the oven. I'm just going to keep an eye on it because you, as soon as you'll know when it's done, when it's crispy, and when the cheese is obviously melted on top. And while that is doing in the oven, we'll make the rocket salad and the lemon dressing. So the lemon dressing is very simple. Um, I'm just going to be juicing, juicing one lemon and adding in some olive oil and some salt. Um, now I haven't seasoned the pizza yet. So I'm going to do the seasoning right at the end. Okay. So it depends on, on how many people you're making this for. Good quality olive oil. Some sea salt. And what we're going to do is melt the 
fry that. And what we'll do is we'll just leave that and just before serving the pizza, we'll put that into a separate bowl, toss the salad around, and then we'll put it on top of the flatbread and serve. Okay guys, our pizza's been in the oven for about 10-15 minutes. You need to keep your eye on it. Um, but you can see it has come out absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to serve it on this wooden board. Um, we'll just cut it into a few pieces. I'm going to dress the salad and then I'm going to serve the salad on top of the pizza as well. So you can see that's lovely and crispy. Let's just add some of the dressing into a bowl. Um, I always say add a little at first and then toss it and just try it rather than you know add it all and then you just ruin it. Now because I already seasoned the dressing, I don't want to be adding any more salt to the rocket just yet. Um, I'll just give it a yeah, I think maybe a little bit more. Just like that. If you like pepper, like I do, 